Yo, what's up guys? Tavares Media here back with another video. And today guys, I'm gonna be talking about how to sell AI chatbots to clients for your AI automation agency. I'm gonna be going through the whole mile range of all the technicals, all the variables, and all the things you need to take into account to be able to service AI chatbots and be able to run a sustainable AI business, right? So buckle up. And a lot of these things I've talked about in my previous videos. So yeah, guys, we're gonna keep nailing this in and providing value. So it just starts off with, right, your brand, right? So you need to focus on building your brand, building your agency, building your business. I talk about this so much. It's probably one of the most important things, guys, is to build a brand, you know? I feel like most people who either A are watching my videos or either B watching any kind of AI videos are kind of all over the place. I feel like there's kind of, um, as you could say, uh, spectrums, right? So you have one space where people are just so focused on the sales and selling and client acquisition and closing clients and have no, have no idea how, what AI even means or what GPT stands for or have to do anything with AI. They're just focusing on getting sales. And you have another spectrum where people are just solely focused on the tech stack building good products, building good services and focusing on that, but then not being able to leverage the, you know, the actual sales side. They're not very familiar with that. They have the spectrum B or the spectrum C where they've got both inclined, right? So there's their sales inclined and they're also technically inclined. They also have their brand. They have their website. They have a logo. You know, they have their name. They have testimonials, all this. They have everything around. So you need to be able to get out of both spectrums and become intertwined so like make them together empower it right so i'm gonna show you an example i've already showed you guys my website but this is one of the steps to going into building your brand build your website as you guys can see i also did make my own logo right there that's my logo build your website build your logo what's the first thing when you see when you want to open ai you've got the logo you've got their brand this is their brand guys right so you want to start on focusing on if you already have a brand and if it's not because I see a lot of people who already have brands of their agency, but it's built on WordPress, the logo is trash, it's off Canva or Google. Take time into your brand and build something sustainable so when in the next three to five years you can stand out from your competitors, right? So focus on building your brand, guys, right? And then the next thing is obviously the tech stack. So you guys see how, right, I, I have them both intertwined. So you have your brand and then the tech stack. So the brand also inclines, it also uh, you know intertwines with sales and client acquisition and properly fulfilling clients. So once you got your brand down, right, your website, your logo, if you guys do need a good website, you guys know I, I make websites. Uh, I'm still making websites for people, again, for super cheap. My Discord is in the description. I'm hooking you guys up. You know I'm your guy. I got you guys. Um, so get your brand down. So that includes sales, uh, where you have appointment setters, you're doing cold calling yourself. I've already made lots of videos on that as well. I got all the value on my channel, guys. You guys can just go on my previous videos, watch me cold call, find clients. All right, so again, I've already talked about a lot of the tech stack providers you also guys can use, right? So you have like VoiceFlow, BotPress, Stack AI, uh, LangChain, FlowWise, LangSmith. You have all these providers you guys can use. Stack AI is a bit expensive, as you guys know, but I think VoiceFlow is probably the, I guess we could say top dog. It's not the best provider, right? But it's something to start out with. And I think the way you can really enhance the the, the way you guys can use this bot is by uh, enhancing it by integrating, I guess, LangChain and FlowWise with it because that guy is too expensive. But if you can integrate FlowWise and uh, LangChain for more uh, you know, comprehension and advancements, then yeah, you guys could have a probable, a probable provider on your hands. So once you guys got like, bro, it's, it's that simple. Don't focus too much on the brand and don't focus too much on the tech stack. Take them together and make a balance, right? So once you got those two variables down, now you can move to the next step and actually make the chatbots, the services, right? How do you sell the chatbots? How do you create the chatbots? And it all comes down to finding out your niche, finding out the clients, right? Because one thing is being able to build chatbots, one thing is having a brand, but another thing is not building the right kind of chatbots. Or should I say, you know, AI automated related services because chatbots is just kind of like the main popular uh, thing that everybody wants to sell right now but you can sell custom GPT bots you can sell a whole bunch of other things but right now chatbots are the main focus so we're gonna be talking about that so that all comes down to your services and your clients 
So what kind of clients are you dealing with? Are you dealing with doctor clients? Are you dealing with uh, real estate agencies? Are you dealing with car dealerships? There's so many things. So once you find your, your ideal client in your ideal space, then you need to figure out what those clients need and how you can provide them. Once you figure out what they need, say, you know, again, hop on calls, go cold calling, Just look up for local car businesses and ask them, hey, if you were to use AI, what would you use it for? Oh, well, I'd probably use it to help train my staff or, oh, well, I'd probably use it to uh, use HR assist or, well, I'd probably use it to increase sales on my website. And they're like, ah, okay, now I know what to make. So it's like, you know, I'm here to give you the foundation and yeah, you have these ideas, but at the end of the day, the best way to figure out the ideas is by going out into the market. Because once they say, well, I need this, then you can provide that to them. Oh, well, I can make that for you. And boom, you probably just sign the client right then and there. So it's like, yeah, you can do, you know, onboard and assist it or HR assist or uh, staff training chatbots or, you know. So it's like, there's so many th kind of chatbots you guys can create. And I have more videos on my channel talking about kind of chatbots and even I have tutorials of me making chatbots, which I'll be doing a little bit more as well because I want to provide value in every single kind of metric. And yeah, guys, that's really it. You know, it's a quick video. It's nothing crazy too long. It's just don't overthink it, guys. Just do as I said, take the steps and just see where it gets you, right? So focus on building the brand, get your website done, get the logo done, you know, build your agency, right? Focus on doing that. Also focus on the sales. So whether it's onboarding or appointment setting, cold calling, whatever. If you're gonna do that by yourself, then do that by yourself. If you're gonna get higher on members and teams, then do that as well. Once you got those down, then you can figure out the tech stack. So learn how to build these bots, guys. Take a month or two just studying how to build these bots and really understanding them. And even if you are hiring a developer, you still need to know how to work these bots because again, you need to understand conversational designing, uh, design analytics, omni-channeling, and so other forth tactics that go into these bots. You can't just be like, well, I have a developer, and then when the client asks you questions, and then you have no idea, oh, well, just ask my developer. And even developers are not even the best right now. So yeah, guys, take time in the tech stack. And once you've got that down, then all you gotta do is go to the market. Now you're ready. You have these two important variables down. Now you can go onto the marketplace and figure out what you're gonna sell. So go out and call businesses up, find your niche, and then figure out what you're gonna sell and how you can provide value to them. And that's it, guys. That's really it. It's a very simple process. Don't overthink it. Take action. I'll see you guys later.